Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mary Lectures. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mary Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. Hi class, basi katika kipindi kicha leo na kwanza lecture zetu za rotation dynamics sasa kwenye rotation dynamics mwingine waga nitaga hii ni jina la kwanza na kuna nyingine waga nasemaga rotation of dgd bodies ngina ngo ni taga yo kwamba the rotation of the three digit bodies sasa tunje kwenye topic ya rotation dynamics hii ndio topic ya mwisho kwenye mechanics sasa ya kwenye topic ya mechanics kwamba kuna terminology inaitwa moment of inertia lazima kwanza we understand the concept of moment of inertia kwamba a rotating body always possess any tend to increase or to decrease angular velocity kwamba ile body yote iko kwenye form shape yoyote ikiwa hata hivyo ikiwa hivyo ikiwa vyovyote vile ilivyo waga inatendi ku increase au ku decrease hiyo angular angular velocity sasa kinachosababisha hapo ya kuwa na kitu fulani ambacho kinaitwa kitu fulani ambacho kinaitwa moment of inertia sasa kwa hati the moment of inertia moment of inertia increase of, of angular velocity is bodies from the center to the point where mass is concentrated here sasa increase of their hiyo angular velocity na nategemea kitu kimoja kinaitwa moment moment of inertia at the moment of inertia ndio kuongeza kwamba moment of inertia ina it is is the summation the summation of product product of mass and square of their distance from the axis of rotation hiyo tunaongelea maana kamili ya moment of inertia kwamba ni ile product ya mass inakuwa denoted by letter i tutakuwa tunaisimbolize kwa letter i kwa nikiweka i huko mbele tukifika waga unajua kwamba naongelea moment of inertia hasa inakuwa ni kitu kama hicho kwamba napongela moment of inertia the summation of the product of mass in the square product ya mass na square of the distance so mimi ndio kuandika inakuwa ni summation ya mass na square distance from the axis of rotation hasa axis of rotation inaweza kaa at the center at any point unaweza kuzungushia body inaweza kaa kuanzia hapa axis of rotation iko hapa body inazunguka hivyo lakini hii hi ndio tunaita distance kama hapa hii ndio point of axis of rotation side distance ndio tunaicho tunayoongelea hapo sasa kama ndio hiyo distance tunayoongelea kwa ili summation ya mass na hiyo square square distance to the axis of rotation sasa lakini hapo kuna hiyo in term of algebra lakini ongelea summation maana tunajumlisha mass nyingi nyingi maana hapa kuna kuna, kuna consider when to find the mass mass where the mass of the body is acting mass patiko fulani hapo ki mass 2 ki mass 1 ni mass 2 mass 3 hapo na consider namna hiyo hiyo mass 4 kwamba hapa kuna consider point fulani za mass na consider mass at this point mass at this point matter kwa maana haja kuja fanya summation hapo kwa itakuwa m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 na kuendelea kwa itakuwa i kwanza ikiwa moja wewe kawa ni 0 
kwa i itaanzia moja mpaka n kwa moment of inertia inakuwa kama hivi sasa tuje tuangalia kitu kingine ambacho tunaita tunasema center nalia nasema center of mass but the point where the whole mass of the body is said to be concentrated kwamba ile point ndio tunaiita kwamba the center of mass kwamba it is a point where the body the mass or the weight of the whole body is said to be concentrated that is what is called your center of mass ya bodi kwa hizo ni terminology fulani za muhimu ambazo tutakuwa tukizitumia sana kwenye hiyo rotation dynamic dynamics ngoja ni kuandikia hapo sema is a point where the whole whole mass of a body is said to be concentrated said to be concentrated so tunaita hiyo kwamba it is the center of mass sasa hapo tumeshaona moment of inertia na center of mass hiyo tumeona definition za sasa kiasi katika hichi kipengele tuje tuone relation kati ile linear equation of motion na easy angular equation of motion sasa hapo ndio kuandika the form of table hiyo kwamba tuje tuangalia zinafanya relation gani maana huko kwenye kwenye hii rotation motion hatutakuwa tukizitumia zile linear motion zile tutakuwa tukitumia hizi rotation motion lakini inakuwa sio linear tena hii motion ambayo inaendelea inakuwa ni rotation kwa maana hapo tunasema topic inaitwa rotation dynamics comparison comparison sasa hiyo comparison au kuneka linear linear motion au kuneka hizo rotation rotational motion zile equation za motion sasa kwenye linear motion kuna ile equation ya kwanza tunasema v sana u plus at sasa tukipeleka hii kwenye mtemo wa angular ndio kupata nini sasa hapo kuna angular velocity hiyo ya kwanza ni sawa sawa tena kuchukua original initial hiyo angular velocity plus angular acceleration times time ndio kupata relation kama hiyo ndio hicho kitu ambacho tunaongelea ndio kitu ambacho tunakiongelea hapo sasa tujia kuendelea mbele hapo pia kuna equation nyingine ambayo tunasemaga s ndio sana kuchukua ut plus es ni distance au wengine wanasemaga h au y sasa hapo mimi natumia s compound distance plus a half a t square sasa kitu kama hiki tukikipeleka kwenye rotation of motion kama comparison inavyosema hapo unaja kupata kitu gani sasa unaja kukuta theta ambayo ni distance angular displacement unaja kupata initial hapa hapa ni u hapa kwa hiyo ni initial angular momentum angular velocity plus a half angular acceleration times t square sasa so, inakuwa ni hivyo tu zinabadilika kama umeelewa circular motion ile circular motion na kubadilisha tu hizo kwa interchange inakuwa ni vile vile kwa moja angalia vipindi vya circular motion unaweza kuviangalia hapo ili usipate ugumu kwenye rotation yako ndio ngalia equation ya mwisho ile tunasema v square sasa sana kuchukua u square plus 2 a s sasa ndio kipeleka huko ndio kupata nini sasa huko itakuwa ni angular square angular initial square plus 2 a inabadilika kuwa angular acceleration of s inabakia x inakuwa displacement na huko s ilikuwa distance kwa 
kinakuwa ni angular displacement inakuwa ni fit hapo kwa hiyo hizo relations zinakuwa ni hivyo hii ni fit hapo kwa hiyo ndani hapo hizo hizi simbo zote zinajulikana kwa sababu kwenye cycle tumeshasoma tumesha kwamba hii ni angular angular axis angular velocity hizo nadhani simbo za huko zinajulikana kwa ndio define hizi theta it is angular displacement kama hizi simbo zinakuchanganya unaweza kuangalia kipindi cha cycle motion ili uje upate hapo general concept hapo inakuja hapo ushapata hiyo general overview inakuja hapo nadhani unaweza kaelewa hapo kwa urahisi angular displacement displacement afu tunaweza kumalizia na hiyo nasema hiyo ni nini sasa hiyo ni angular acceleration kwa hizo relation zinakuwa zimekaa kwa namna hiyo comparison nenda in term of hiyo hasa kwenye kipindi hiki kwa kuangalia tu hii just introduction tutaishia hapa kwenye kipindi kijacho tutaendelea kwenye radius of gravitation of the body na hapo tena kuangalia kinetic energy na ndipo tutakuja kuanza calculation za hiyo rotation dynamics sasa kwenye kipindi hiki tutaishia hapo don't forget to subscribe na kushare kwa watu wengine zaidi kwa ajili ya kunufaika kwa watu wengi zaidi kama hujaelewa unaweza kwa comment hapo au hata kama umeelewa unaweza kwa comment hapo ili kuangalia kwamba je kweli tunasaidiana kweli kwa kama umeelewa una comment kama hujaelewa napo na comment sasa kugonga like hapo asanteni kwa elini tukutane lecture ijayo asante asante kwa kuongelea channel ya dr mlelo ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote waweza kucomment hapo chini click link ya kwenye description kujoin telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion usisahau kusubscribe kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii